Now what we're going to demonstrate to you is the horsemanship. The horsemanship class is uh, one of the, it's a fun class, um, but it's a very, very precise class. If it says you have to be doing something, you have to be doing something at that particular cone. Uh, normally all three gates will be evaluated, the walk, the jog and the lope, and also there will be a backup. Sometimes you might find a turn in it. But this one here is going to be a very nice and simple one. We have three cones, A, B, and C, and Louisa will be walking from A to B. She will then jog a small circle back to B, and then she will jog up to C and lope on the right lead. You notice this is all about the rider's ability to communicate to the horse. In this program, technically speaking, the horse does not exist. The horse is not being judged. Of course, the horse has to be nicely turned out clean, clipped, but it's all about the rider. So you see a smooth transition up there into the lope. Nice circle. The body position, the point of the shoulder, the point of the hip and the back of the heel. Not leaning too far forward, not leaning too far back. Hands in a very correct position. and a nice stop in the back there. Excellent. Again, this class is a very, very precise class and it is the rider that is being judged and not the horse. So you have to, and it's heavily weighted on the seat of the rider. As I said to you, the ideal seat position is the point of the shoulder, the point of the hip and the back of the heel. And your horse has to be nice and light through the bridle and dictated to completely. If you notice the hands, the hands are in the correct position, just above the swell of the saddle. Keep it nice and easy. After this, this class is broken into two parts. You have the performance bit when you do the actual pattern and then you have the rail work. And Louise is just going to go on the rail. So ideally, sometimes you work both ways on the rail, sometimes you work once. But again, you do a pleasure section after this, after you've done the, after you've done the pattern. And again, when you're on the rail, go ahead and jog her on the rail. You will do the pleasure portion afterwards. It is required. Just go ahead and lope her. Again, if, if a judge has got two horses that are fairly close to each other, okay, just bring her back to a walk and then line up. If the judges have got a, a, like a tie for first place, they'll put them on the rail so they'll break the tie on the rail and that will be gauged on, on, on the movement of the horse more so. It's mainly, mainly to break ties, they're on the rail. Like I said, this uh, horsemanship class is a, it's a very nice class to win because what it tells you is, is it tells you a lot about your riding. So if you win the class, you're in good shape. Okay, here comes Louisa again. This time what she's going to do is she's going to demonstrate it to us twice what a judge likes to see, the correctness, and then in the second one is what, yeah, bago igan, what uh, you might see, common mistakes, okay? So we're ready at the cone, ready to go. And then it's just a nice easy walk off. Again, look at the body position, the shoulder, the, the point of the shoulder, the point of the hip, the back of the heel, everything's looking good. Nice transition to the jog right at the point of the cone. The circle's nice and round. Louise is looking up to where she's going. The hands are in an excellent position. And getting ready for the lope departure. Picks up the lope pretty nicely. 
nice bigger circle, nice and round, horses alert, looking through, listening to what Louise is asking her to do, and the stop, and the back up, and that was a pretty, pretty nice effort there. The scoring system will be marked out of 20, from 0 to 20, 20 being high and 0 being low, the average would be 12 to 14. So if you're up in the sort of 15, 16 mark, that would be pretty nice. And that was a sort of, that was about average. I'd say about 14, 14, 15. Okay, and now she's just going to jog back down to the start. And then she's, what on this section, what she's going to do is she's going to show us uh, little mistakes. Um, maybe I don't know what she's going to do, but I'll talk you through them when we get there. Again, coming back to the two portions of that just quickly is that if I had two horses like that, that's when I'd take them out, put them on the rail and pick my winner. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we've got not enough contact, our hand position is not great. A little bouncy in the saddle, moving the hands around, kind of looking down, you know, not really sure what she's supposed to be doing. So, you know, it doesn't look like an overall pleasing picture. Again, the feet a little forward. Again, late to the lope, picks the hands up, really has to help the horse into the lope. Guides it way too much. Breaks gate here, that's a big offense, but again, that can happen. Picks up the correct lead again. It's early to the stop. Legs way too far forward for the backup. And again, this would be around about out of 20. I think you'd be down around sort of your five, six mark. Okay. 